welcome back to a very, very special episode of the comment section. Today is the one year anniversary of the show, which is literally insane, guys. I cannot wrap my head around the fact that my team and I have only been doing this for a year. You guys blew up the channel. This community is insane. The comments you leave are so insightful and enthusiastic. You rally behind the subjects we talk about, even if they are weird and disgusting and dark and awful. I just could not be more appreciative of what we have all built together. So I'm so grateful and I cannot believe that it has literally only been 365 days. Anyway, for this special episode, I obviously have balloons behind me. My team got those together. I feel like I'm like having my sweet 16 right now. You know how all the girls like pose in front of them. So I might have to do that. So if they are shifting behind me, and saying something weird. Don't put it on me. So I thought for this special episode, we could go back, take a walk through memory lane and look at some of the best or most notable or memorable moments from the channel. My team pulled these for me. I'm so excited to rewatch them. Let's just jump in. This is the very first episode. <laughs> What's up y'all? Welcome to the comments section. Oh, it's I'm so Brett dark. Cooper. In case you've been living under a rock or if you are not a political <laughs> freak like me, the State of the Union oh, man. was last night. That's rough. And it was horrifying. No, it wasn't horrifying. It made me feel like I was dying inside just mm. slightly. The good thing is Biden was like semi oh, put together so for hard. it. Like he said his lines, he did the thing. You know the thing. But the expressions around him and the gaffes of the people in the room, I swear it's politics is literally just reality TV. I mean, hey, I started off strong saying politics is just reality TV. I still say that to this day. The lighting is so different. We worked so diligently on figuring out what looked the best because with all the colors, the, you know, color grading was off, the lighting was weird. Also, that camera was so high on my forehead. I felt like half the time I was literally looking down like that. I'm glad that I am at least looking you guys in the eyes somewhat now. The makeup is totally different. That's just crazy. But I don't hate it. Like I go back and I've, I've seen that first episode, the first few and the trailer. And I was so, so nervous and so excited um, and really didn't know anything different. I was like, man, this is the best that it can get. This is awesome. Like, I guess it's working. And then I look at what we do now and it's like, holy crap. Like, it's so much better. It's so much more polished. I'm so much more confident in the way that I'm presenting topics, which I think is the biggest difference. I'm a lot faster. I'm, you know, quick on my feet, which, you know, I think took a bit to get my footing. Um, it's just wild. Anyway. Also, the editing is a lot faster. Yes. And literally with how quickly they edit the episodes too. More ways than one. It's it's a lot punchier these days, a lot funnier, I think. And also our editors just crush it. We're pretty awesome. We're totally awesome. It took a bit to like catch the stride, mm -hmm. but we got there. Yeah, it was good. Cheller's been here the whole time. Now, if you guys have been here since the beginning, you probably remember that like after a month of us having the channel, Hassan Piker, who's a huge left-wing streamer, he's really funny, people love him. He made a video about me and called me the female Ben Shapiro, said that I was writing the Ben Shapiro coattails because I was probably related to him. He was like, she's not a real streamer. She's probably reading off of a teleprompter. She's hiding the fact that she's in a studio, which I never did. I made a response video. It was probably the most nervous that I've ever been creating a video just because I was so new to doing this and suddenly somebody who was so huge in this space was, you know, coming after me when I literally just started. But I think it was really good for my confidence because I, you know, was like, no, I'm going to stand up for myself. I do want to respond because <laughs> nothing that he's saying is holding any merit. So anyway, this is also the second most viewed episode on the entire channel. I think it's at like 1.4 million now. All right, here we go. They have like a fake room too. They like they created like a in a studio. They were like, this is what a Zoomer room looks like. And then she's got like one leg up and sh I, it, this is so bad. What Not the, the me, right, dude? This is the most like brand you can get. <laughs> Industry plant streamer. She's not even streaming. She doesn't. She's not streaming. These aren't from her streams. She might actually stream at certain points, but it'll no matter what she does, do. it's gonna be all and I brand. Do. Okay, it's so corporate. Way later than. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Acknowledge that you have a fake set. You fucking weirdo. <laughs> I literally did. And then in that video, I showed all the clips from my Instagram of me designing the set. And it was not some like 65 year old boomer being like, oh, let's create this really colorful set. It was literally me and Gracie who was still on my team. And we scoured the internet and we picked out things that relate to me. We had so much fun creating it because I did want it to feel like me and my space and like somewhere where I felt comfortable. I did not want to be on like a stark podcast set. That's not who I am. I wanted to feel at home in a studio and I do film in a studio anyway. It was so funny and Anyway, that was just a, a big moment for me. Cause like I said, I think that that was integral in me getting my footing and feeling confident in this YouTube space. All right, now we have 
our most viewed episode, which I don't know why this is the most viewed episode. I think that it's just racked up views over time and now people want to watch it because it is the most viewed episode. But it's about Ricky Gervais. And I don't even remember what I talked about in this one. Oh, women. Uh, <laughs> not all women. I, I mean the old fashioned ones. You know, the old fashioned women. Oh, God. You know, the ones with wombs. Oh. I like that shirt I'm wearing. <laughs> dinosaurs. Oh. No, I love the, the new women. I know the new women. They're great, aren't they? The, you know, the new ones we've been seeing lately. The, the ones with beards and <laughs> They're as good as. They're as good as gold. I love them. No, it's the old fashioned. And now the old fashioned. They're like, oh, they want to use our toilets. Why shouldn't they use your toilets? For ladies. They are ladies. Look at their pronouns. <laughs> what about this person isn't a lady? Well, his penis. Her penis, you f***ing bigot. I think my point with that episode was just showing that, thank God somebody at least was willing to still make jokes about this and push the boundaries of comedy and actually comment on society, what was going on. I think that was the point, which I think makes sense because it feels like kind of an evergreen episode, like one that will stand the test of time because it was not some political news story. It was just something that I think everybody can relate to if you live in the modern era where everybody is so afraid to take a joke or even make a joke. So it makes sense. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. This one is from my 1 million video. So we hit 1 million subs in August, I believe. So less than six months after creating the show. And my team and I wrote a skit about me immediately becoming a diva when I hit a million subs, which, uh, spoiler alert, I did not actually become one. Scheller might disagree. <laughs> Mildly. Mildly, um. mildly inflated ego. Anyway, uh, we loved filming this, so here's a clip from it. Guys, we hit a million subscribers in five months, which is great. You know, I think we could have done it in three months, but you know, there's only so much that I can expect out of all of you. Reagan, walk with me. So this is my new office, and Reagan, I'm gonna need you to decorate it for me. But Brett, this is the studio. I don't think production's probably gonna like it. Uh, no, 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 it's, it's my office. Can you read the sign? No, 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 This is my my bad side. Can you just use the reverse angle? Uh, Brett, there is no other angle. This is like, this is like the main. You're so talented. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Uh, wait. Thank you. <laughs> Producer jobs in Nashville. <laughs> ah, it's Rocky. Hey, Scheller. Good. Hey. What were you looking at? Nothing. Yeah, sure you were. Uh, but while we are on Oh my god, I have to pause. This was before we actually had a studio <laughs> to ourselves. Yeah, remember we were sharing the set? <laughs> we were sharing the set with another Daily Wire show. And so we were on one side and then their set was on the other, but then they, they ended just, up they moving. They crammed us in here. Yeah, we were all smushed. Um, now we have the entire studio. I leveled up after hitting a million subs. <laughs> Would you mind calling the vet? Rocky's bowels have been a bit impacted. What? Okay, actually, her bowels were impacted last night. I have never heard a dog's stomach growl. <laughs> so loudly, I literally thought that it was me and it was not. It was literally coming from that 15 pound dog. Just more reason to, you know. <laughs> it's so perfect. There's so much in this skit that's just like <laughs> painfully true. All right, here we go. God, she's so cute. She's getting groomed tomorrow, by the way. Okay. If you catch my drift. Thank you. <laughs> what she sounded like. <laughs> that's my old office. Mom, did you hear that I hit a million? Oh, yeah, I, I miss you too. Right, yeah. No, I'm not letting it get to my head, I promise. Yeah. No, you're right, back to work. I love you too. Bye. <laughs> Look at the tag still on that jacket. <laughs> I've never noticed that before. Me either. I've seen this thing so many times, I've never noticed that. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Hey guys. Um, you might have noticed that I was acting a bit different. I'm sorry. Uh, but but I got cookies for everybody. Also guys, I cut off all my hair in the fall and watching this video, I feel like I should grow it back out again. You can let me know if you think I should. I feel like I'm already doing it because I just haven't scheduled a haircut because I'm lazy. Maybe I will. This from the kitchen? Yeah, that box is half empty. Oh, it's gluten free. Listen, guys, I'm trying. <laughs> I can order some crumble. But seriously, I just, I wanted you all to know how much I appreciate you and all of your hard work because I couldn't have done it without you. And I'm sorry. Aww. Uh, hey, does anyone know where Scheller is? 
God, I think that was still the best thing we've ever produced. Yeah. It was really good. I know we said after that we were going to do more skits. We just never did. But I think that, I mean, that's just, it can't beat that one. So good. All right. What do we have next? Oh, all right. So you guys know if you're like an avid YouTuber, we post a lot of shorts on the channel. Somebody commented recently and they were like, how do you have over a thousand videos on the channel and it's because we pump out like two to three shorts every single day and they're all new organic content i don't repurpose any parts of the show and repost it like it's literally like i'm creating things just for shorts because i wanted it to be new but we have one short that since it was released back in the spring i think it is the most viewed across all of my platforms. This is called the urinal test. This one's a no-brainer. I definitely go all the way to the right. You want to space yourself as much as you can. Here, I'd probably go to the same thing because anything else and you're kind of too close to people, you definitely don't want those two in the middle because then you're like stacked between people. This one's a no-brainer. You want to go directly in the middle. Otherwise, you're shoulder to shoulder with somebody. <laughs> They're different levels. Weird. This is a lose-lose, honestly, all around, <laughs> but I think you just have to take one of the edges. I don't think it matters too much. Um... I think you go middle here, because if you go to the left, you're going to be next to two people on that your left, sense, whereas if you're on the middle one, you only have one person directly to your right. Is that something you guys have to actually think about? My all-male team is sitting in here being like, oh, yeah, this is that's like the mental gymnastics. Me waiting for the whole damn building to be empty. <laughs> this is fascinating, guys. See, men and women are very different. That's, that's what we've learned here. You know, maybe it's the urinal test that is causing so many men to want to use women's restrooms, guys. This is just, I understand now. I have empathy. It's like, oh my God, you really have to go through mental gymnastics just to figure out how to pee. It still cracks you up. Literally the most viewed short TikTok reel that I've ever posted. And the comments are very, very spicy and just guys debating about things. What is this one? Oh, this is a TikTok I posted. This is a meet the team. <laughs> Oh, Kobe. <laughs> God, it's so good. Most of those people are still in the same position. Gracie does make sure that I stay in line on TikTok every day. Uh, <laughs> she deals with the things that I want to say on that platform. Reagan does still make sure that all the videos <laughs> go viral. She handles all the SEO titling and all of that stuff. Kobe, who you guys probably saw a lot at the beginning of the channel and the show, he helps develop it with me and Gracie. He left and he has created his own company now and he's doing consulting. He's just incredible and he's gonna do amazing things. So that's who you saw drinking the Celsius. Um, uh, Carter in the video who makes fire memes. He's still here. He's actually in the room with me as I'm filming this. And then Caleb, who you saw editing. He was the original editor, but now oversees our entire team of editors, which is so cool. Uh, and it's been fun to see all of their progression alongside the development of the show. It's been very cool because everybody kind of started on, you know, the same level and we were all doing very different things and kind of came together to create this show. I mean, I'm obviously talking about the team right now. None of this would have been able to happen without them and their support and their diligent work literally every single day. You guys have met some of them, but I wanted to bring them all in as a group to celebrate. So guys, come on in. You have seen all of these people individually in different videos. We have Gracie, she helped design the set at first. This is Sheller, you obviously know and love him. This is Reagan, she makes sure every video gets posted and titled correctly. We have Max, who is the meme lord. We have Bobby, who uh, produces all of the off the clocks. We have Caleb, who is the original editor and now oversees literally everything, literally the OG meme lord. And then we have Austin, who is the 2.0 meme lord, came in, learned from Max, and is absolutely crushing it. Could not do any of this without them, but I do have a bitter sweet announcement for you guys. This is Scheller's very last video. It is his last raw. Scheller is leaving the comment section. He is starting a new venture. He's gonna be building up a new department and giving his family more flexibility. So we are very sad to see him go because you have literally been instrumental in the creation of the show, in developing everything that I do every single day. And I'm gonna be so sad, but Ooh. I'm excited for him. He has a fan account on Instagram now, guys, so you can go <laughs> follow it. But drop a comment and say goodbye to him because we literally would not have been able to create the show without him. So everybody, thank you so much for being here for a year. Tell all of these people how amazing they are as well. All right, bye guys. Bye. <laughs>
All right, that's a cut. The eagle is flying for the last time. for watching the comment section. If you want to see more videos just like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, like this video, and of course, if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I'm Brett Cooper. See you next time.